Let's use some more rice. Let's do some off-eye stretching with Pepper. We're gonna start with the butterfly stretch. We're gonna start with the butterfly stretch. You should feel the stretch here, like on your thighs, and maybe a little bit on your back when you go down. Hold it for like 15 seconds, and maybe you'll be good. So, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. She's helping a lot, actually. I'll come over here. Okay, now when you're in this position, like pu push as much in as you can. You should also feel the stretch here again and just like um like be a butterfly and um fly but with your legs for 10 seconds two three four five six seven eight nine ten <laughs> eleven twelve Actually, I'm 15. It's always good to do more than 10. Point your foot to the side. Have your leg straight and hold the muscle in your leg. And then like, and then like come down and hold for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, do the other side. She's taking over my yoga mat. That is the stretch. Let's do some off-eye stretching. With Pepper. With Pepper. For this one, you're gonna need to stand up. Wait, again. Yoga, yoga, yoga. She just stood there like, you're gonna get into a lunge. Have your foot out like this, and just go as down as you can without your hand touching the floor and hold for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After that, you're gonna need to do the other side of the other leg. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That is called the lunge stretch. For this stretch, you need to have your leg out. Try to balance with your hands out for ten seconds with your foot pointed. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then do it the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one helps with your scratch bit for when you're in this position and go to this. This one you're gonna need to know how to balance because this is something that will help with your spirals and when you're in a spin that goes up and down. But I'm not there yet, but I'm just doing this for my spirals. So you're gonna hold the four and hold for 10 seconds with your foot straight and pointed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 
to do on your other foot so it's good with your other spiral too. One, two, three, And that is our stretching. Now I'm gonna roll my mat up so we can do some off ice. First, we're gonna do some spins. With a two foot spin, make sure the feet are touching when you do your off ice, but when you're in skating, you don't need the skates to touch because that will make you fall. And then that will be really sad. So you're gonna have straight legs, tight muscles. You come from the spin, you come from here to here and hold your spin as long as you can. I don't know how long I can hold my spin because I'm on my, without my skates on, so I'm gonna do it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that was the two foot spin. Now we're gonna move into the one foot spin which is slightly harder than two foot spin because you're only on one foot now. So have your foot up, straight leg, tight muscles, and hold for 10 seconds of this. That is how long you can hold it. You have your arms here, here, here. Then that holds for 10 seconds. Make sure you don't have a fishtail because that can make your spin not look good. And it does. it's not how the two, one foot spin works. So you have at least your heel touching your knee for 10 seconds, and I'm like struggling right now. So here, here, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's surprising because it's easier on ice skates than it is on foot, so that is surprising. Now we're gonna move on to an even harder spin which is the scratch spin. The one I'm learning right now, so I'm not the best at it, but I can go pretty fast. So you have your leg here, like we did in yoga. Have your leg out like this, like this. And then you hold it like this, and down with your arms, and then in like this, and then pull in. Make sure you have tight legs, like really tight legs so you can spin faster. For 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is all the spins. Now we're gonna be doing jumps, which is harder, like a lot harder than spins. We're gonna do our half flip just to get the half flip over with. So when you're in the half flip, you're skating for and ball you bend, bend both of them, turn out like this. So like, bend, bend, turn out. With this one, you really wanna have most of the pressure on this foot. Have your knee over the toe. So you, when you look down, you can't see your foot because your knee is over your toe. When you have that, you're gonna put your blade, like your toe pick into the ice, like, like this. Make sure it's not like this into the eyes because that can trip you. And I'm not trying to make people trip. So don't do that. Have your foot like this. And then you're gonna turn forward. So now I'm gonna do it just for an example. Then you come out like that. With your landing position, we come out forward. We have our leg out and our arms out. You look to your right and then you continue of what you're doing if it's like in your program. So we're gonna go through the steps one more time and then we're gonna move on to the wash jump. Bend, bend, push all the over toe on this foot, then toe pick, spin, jump. Then land. Now we're gonna do the wash jumps. A little bit harder, cause you actually have to launch yourself from going forward. So I did backward crossovers. I have like this, this position, this, this, 
this. So when you're here, you want to have a flexed foot to the side, and then you're going to lean forward. Flexed, lean, land. Now I'm going to do the jump for example. I can't really do my landing on four, but I'm trying. So you have your foot flexed to the side, you come forward, jump, and land. With your landing, you have this, knee over toe, just like your hat flip, arms out, look to flip side. Hold it for a little bit longer than the hat flip, just cause, just hold it a little longer. Then this, this, this. That was the Walsh jump. Now we're gonna to move on to one of the hardest jumps for me, which is where you're on an outside edge, which is super, super hard. So when you're doing your half flutz, your backward, coming from backward crossovers, then you're here, you put this foot up, then you have like, then you pass your arms, it's like I'm doing the wrong side, I was not for sure, but then you have it like this, and you lean out, jump, which is also really hard because you from this, this, this. So for when you're there, you're doing your crossovers, then you have, and you have your foot like this, have a turned out muscle. Your, your butt needs to be <laughs> squished. Then you come out, knee over your toe, like I said. Then like this, don't do this, cause I'll make you trip. Like this, then turn, and then jump. I'm gonna do an example, I'll try my best. I've only been working on this jump for a few weeks, so. That is, that is your half lutz. Now we're gonna move on to turns, which is three turns and mohawks. We're gonna start off with the harder ones just because we can't get that over with, which is the three turns. So three turns, you have one foot, bounce, bounce, then go on. It's hard because you have inside and outside. So when you're gliding, say you have like a little rainbow, cause that's what my coaches say, have a little rainbow to do it. So you're gliding on one foot, then you bounce, bounce, go with what you're doing. With the bounce, don't go like down because that will just make it worse than it usually is. If you were to have your legs straight and just turn, that, you might start getting worried about it because you might be doing something, like you are doing something wrong. Um, having your knee bent just makes it easier for you to turn. So you go push, bounce, bounce, go with what you're doing. And then on your other foot, do the same. Like bounce, bounce, go with what you're doing. So those are the two same. And then you might just do insides, which are really hard for me. Um, and insides are really hard for me. I do not like the insides. Now we're going to be doing the mohawks, which are my favorite turns. Well, there's also a two foot turn, which is also really easy. You skate, skate, put your two foot together, bend. That one is really easy. You learn it in like basic five, four. Um, so it's not that far away. Now we're gonna move on to the mohawks, which like you're doing a half flip. You bend, bend, really just like you're doing a half flip. So you're gliding, then have another rainbow, 
then go turn, turn. Then the other foot, turn, turn. So that is our turns. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Let's do some off ice. I forgot. Muscles and have your arms like this. <laughs> restart, restart. Yes, I am. Suki. She's doing yoga. Yoga, yoga, yoga. I do some yoga. Yoga, yoga, yoga. <laughs>